This isn't gonna be too pleasant for you, I promise you that. This is you... my knife. No, please. Please. Nobody takes my knife. You stabbed me! You're leaking red like a juice box. No. Oh, please, you, you can... you can help me. No, man, you're bleeding out. The only thing I can do is put you out of your misery. Humane life. Uh, uh, uh. Oh! Laura! Oh no, you've been bit! Pick on someone your own size. Travis! Oh, oh, easy. Easy. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan! Oh, how bad is it? So sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? <sighs> it's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. What? Ryan, if you let me bite you. What? 
If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's, too. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? Do it. Okay. Ah. Uh. Nice and tender for you. You should start to feel better soon, I guess. You guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped for parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. Fuck. Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. Problem. Oh, fuck sticks. I mean, there must be a way to open it. Hmm. 
Maybe in that house thing. Let's take a look. hunted by literal monsters and this is what bothers you yeah both are bad So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Uh oh, I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um. Just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Welcome back, Grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit, okay. All right, here goes nothing. You did it! 
Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? Better than being out in the open. Come on. We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just, I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. What'd you find? Oh, I'm just checking out this ladder. Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. Why? We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, 
at all. Okay, what I mean is it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there, there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves. Okay. Guess that makes sense. Oh, you think so? Does it? Does it sorta? Excuse me? Excuse me? Um... Oh, have you ever, like, made a firm decision about anything? Ever? <sighs> Emma, are you okay? I, uh, What's gotten into you? I... Uh, I don't know. <sighs> Emma... <sighs> Abby... Getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. Might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Watch your step. Yep. What was that? I think... I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch.
Thanks. For, um, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. So, what now? Everyone's back to normal? What? Oh. You think this is over? This isn't over. I don't understand Chris is dead. Oh. oh, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. I've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A uh, feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let at him go! The, at the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay, so... Where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can, can someone please get me some fucking clothes? You had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family, and you failed. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? The sun. The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? One last time, go back. Go back and end this.
Why am I on top of a fucking tree? Laura! What? How the hell am I gonna get down? Asked an answer. Where the hell are my clothes? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Gotta find Laura. Should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel.
table. Help me. Okay. Well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news, okay. All right, we gotta get a vantage point. How long has this guy been here? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. stronger. 
We're here to lead the way. Like mates for life, we're proud to say. Shout at Stratton, shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? Showtime, motherfuckers. Come on, Abby. Keep it together. Not long till morning. <gasps> what was that? What the?
So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas, the wolf boy, escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Gotta be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Let's fucking do this. Go team! It all makes sense now. You've got wolf blood? Found it in the woods. Travis just reminded me. Um, you should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, I can't, I can't do that. It's yours. You've been through a lot more than I have. Anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you.
This is yours. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll be fine. I got this. <sighs> Ugh. Pungent. Rather stinky than dead. I mean, not. De I'm, I'll sure. I'm sure you'll be fine. has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who are you talking about? I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Voris. Silas's mother. I think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Same.
What is it? Silas the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Stop. Are you sure about this? Shoot. Thought you were clever, didn't you? I knew my boy would be okay. With me watching over him, I'll never forget what you tried to do. I've been with you all night, you know. And I'm not about to stop just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now, I'll never leave you. I'll never leave you. Oh, I could hide neat the wings of the bluebird as she sings the six o'clock alarm would never ring but it rings and i rise wipe the sleep out of my eyes my shaven razor's cold and it stings Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a homegoing queen? You once thought of me as a white knight on his steed. Now you know how happy I can be. Starts and ends without dollar one to spend. But how much, baby, do we really need? Cheers. 